passing by the lighthouse of Trok now. And these are the dunes in between Trok Korta and El Morche. One of my favorite parts to run. But let's see the beach. So that must be Algo Robo. This road is full of cars, so I'm gonna head to the boardwalk. Whew, actually, too bad I didn't catch this on film, but two kids on a scooter uh, hit me <laughs> and I jumped. Ah. I jumped right on time to avoid them, but they still hit my hand with the scooter. Ah, I think I got a bruised knuckle here. <sighs> Jesus. Kids on scooters, I don't know if it's a good idea, to be honest. Algorobo is quite uneventful, apart from some hand shops, if you're so inclined. This is my second fountain of the day. It's kind of funny, because I did this uh, continental run of Europe well, halfway and my brain still gets really happy when I see some cardboard. Because <laughs> that means I have a mattress for the night. I would be out uh, camping. <laughs> anyway, it's time to head inland now. I just made it to the point over there where I take a right. I think it's only uh, three more clicks to Velet Malaga. That's the highway, gotta cross it. And then I'm almost in the city. Just wanted to show this. Of course, golf parks are great places to sleep. And um, the disadvantage is being hard to get into. There might be a security team. Uh, but there's always a way in. <laughs> there's always a way somewhere. And golf parks have the advantage, they have these little architecture pieces and uh, often they make good shacks or um, places to sleep on. So there you go, pro tip for stealth camping. I guess the big advantage for me personally, I, just reflecting on it, um, it's that no other homeless people or bad actors can uh, bother you inside, rub your shit, you know. Of course not all roundabouts are good places for stealth camping. This is a good example of one you want to skip over. Found some mandarin trees. Let's see if they're edible. If it's on public space, I'm, uh, I'm eating it. <laughs> I didn't take much water with me today, so this is a welcome surprise. Google Maps says it's this way, but I want to show you some ruins over there. Let's go trail running. Ah. God, I just love Andalusian landscapes. The olive trees swaying in the wind, the birds chirping around. It's so poetic. This is the first time I come to this big one. Let's go see. <laughs> Pretty much definition of a trap house. Also, mattresses. You'd be amazed how many beach berms there are around Andalusia. And again, it looks pretty old. I'd say it's safe. This mattress doesn't look too good though. <laughs> There's more mattresses over there. Always watch out for your stuff.
think that's pretty much it for this house, I guess. And a little garden sleeping room, if you're so inclined. This actually looks like a great. Great. What's the word? Clever. And there's another one over there, but it doesn't have a roof. It's pretty much going to be the same as the other ones. I'm going to keep on running. <laughs>